morning guys. Dan's just woken me up to say that he's got breakfast for me. I had a bit of a lie in because the boys were up all night. I'm just going downstairs to see them now. My what? Good boy. Daddy. Are you stuck? Guys, I don't think I've actually spoken Hi, to you. guys. I, I'm Lorenzo, and you, he's mummy. He's mummy. And it was the cloth of one o'clock today. And I got some all the pictures in the, in the wall. And we, and we did some washing machine with daddy with, in his car. <laughs> and we got some lights. And we're going to get to bed. <laughs> And he did we got some covers with mummy and line up. <laughs> and we did I did go to school in what in tomorrow. And I guys and I did and there we see to see the ice cream bar over there and he get uh, <laughs> and he got some minutes early behind the clock at one o'clock and he get uh, and he got uh, <laughs> And said, what's a pillow time? There's a little key that and I go a little bit. Pardon? There were 30 more pictures in this wall, and there was all of it. Mummy, we did pictures all the time. We do have lots of pictures, but Mummy likes pictures, doesn't she? I mean. Yeah? And we say, cheese. <laughs> right, well, there you go then. That sums up our morning. That sums up our morning, and the end. <laughs> And then we watch it work our train and they go to do it and the train there there was a long train and there was a there, and there was a brown one up there. Yeah. And they got some all the red coals. The red coal? And he's pushing the train. A uh -oh. big long train. <gasps> oh he is. He's giving me a running commentary of robot trains. And he goes for robot trains. The Hello, air. Guys. <laughs> Oh, okay, right, we're taking over, are we? When when your toddler takes over your vlog. <laughs> Mommy, yeah. say cheese. So it is ten past one and we have just finished ten eating. Ten past one? Yeah, we've just finished eating our lunch, haven't we? Yeah. yeah. Um, I haven't actually spoken to you this morning to let you know what we were doing, Whee! what we were supposed to be doing. But Lorenzo, you were supposed to be at a birthday party today, weren't you? Yeah. Yeah, your friend was supposed to have a party. I don't. You didn't want to go though, did you? You got a bit sad and said that you didn't want to go. Why didn't you want to go? Because I don't. Because you don't, because Nico wasn't going? No. No. So we didn't go to the party. I do no. To stay here. Um, <laughs> and what have we done this morning, boys? What did we do this morning? Painting! We've done some painting. painting. What else did we do? Bricks! Lego. We built some Lego, Lego. didn't we? First time. I know, I know, I know. 
So Lorenzo got loads of Lego for his birthday and for Christmas and they've just kind of been in the back of the cupboard. But we decided to get it out this morning. First time doing Lego and I built a speedboat and a recycling truck bin lorry thing. Um, and they've been playing with it all morning but already I hate it. <laughs> the amount of times I've had to rebuild it or pick up tiny little pieces from the floor. So that was the one reason why I put it to the back of the cupboard was because I, obviously the younger kids and I didn't want them to pick up the small pieces and put them in their mouth so I just thought oh, we'll leave Lego for as long as we can but they have been asking for it for a lot recently so we got it out in the end didn't we? We got the Lego out. So we've done Lego, we've done crafts, we've done water painting on the patio in the garden. Dan's just cleaning out the fridge freezer, like deep, not deep rusting it, but like scraping all the ice off because it just gets really icy. Franco's woken up for his nap, he's in the kitchen with Dan just eating his lunch. Yeah, and that's about all we've got planned for today. I mean, we were supposed to have the party, but Lorenzo just, he just kept saying that he didn't want to go and I tried to say that all of his friends were gonna be there from school. He said that he wanted Dan to take him. But then Nico didn't want Dan to take him because he wanted Dan to stay at home with him. And obviously because it's Lorenzo's friend from school, Nico and the other boys weren't invited. Which I totally understand because I wouldn't ever expect them to be invited because they don't know who this little boy is. When it's a weekend, the boys and we all really just like to spend time together as a family. And yeah, Lorenzo was just upset that Nico couldn't go and he didn't want to be separated from his brothers, which is absolutely fine. And I would never ever force them to do something that they felt uncomfortable doing or that they weren't happy doing or that they just didn't want to do. <laughs> Good boy. Good boy. That was cool. Into the goal. Into the goal. Yes. You got a celebration? Show me. Again, I think we're like behind the times because I feel like everybody else has seen it but us. We've just come downstairs, literally, none of the boys were awake. It's five past six. And then we just got down the stairs and then Lorenzo crept at the top of the stairs and was like, morning. <laughs> That's Dan in the background, um, making coffee. Morning. What would you like? Oh, I love your hair in the mornings, in your eyes. Oh my. But I've always said that in the mornings when Lorenzo first wakes up with his like really, really big brown eyes and his sticky uppy hair, he reminds me of the little boy from Love Actually. Oh, what's daddy got you? <gasps> what do you say? Smell it. <laughs> you smell it. You got wee toes. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, I actually painted the boys' bedroom yesterday. <laughs> Obviously I've done the older two boys' bedrooms. I did theirs quite a few months back now. And Dan wallpapered the dinosaur wallpaper and we did like a light blue bottom. Well, we're obviously just like trying to save money and we have loads of paint left over from the living room. So instead of doing the whole bottom of the room of the younger boys because I just thought it'd be too dark we've decided to do stripes but like only on the top and it looks a little bit strange at the moment because the tape's still on it and I need to like touch up a few places but I think once it's done and we've got curtains and we've got bedding and stuff I think it'll be really nice put some bookshelves up I really quite like it and it just makes such a difference and I just wanted their room to be cosy and loads of people are like oh I love white walls I dream of white walls and and I do like the white walls, don't get me wrong, but they're just so white and they're so clinical. And because their bedrooms are so big, 
um it was it was just too white and it wasn't cozy and no matter what we put in there it just felt so not cozy and cold still so i really wanted to decorate it and when we were in our old house we lived there for two years and we didn't do any painting we didn't do, put anything on the walls so i was so desperate to like get some color in the house and you know make it a bit more cozy for them and a bit more like have a bit more character and not make it feel like such a new build if that makes sense so i'm so pleased i did it so this is what i did yesterday <laughs> I painted all around this side of the room. Dan's just put some shelves up actually for some books and um, obviously behind the door. It looks messy down there because we're gonna wallpaper all of this wall. So this big wall here is gonna be wallpapered but we've just realized that the wallpaper paste <laughs> isn't, um, isn't gonna be any good. So we need to go and get some more. Here's more of a nap take. Dan has finished the wallpaper. He just needs to trim it all along the top and the bottom. So we haven't put the beds back fully because we need to do that. Obviously you can see at the bottom. But I absolutely love this paper. It is beautiful. It's such a lovely, lovely room and colour. We've still got so much to do. It's still not finished at all. The boys need new beds. Um, Franco is really too big for this crib now. But we don't have beds for the bigger boys yet. But hopefully next month we can get some. Oh, you got. We can get some more beds. This is from Paperboy Wallpaper, and they kindly sent us some for the boys' bedroom. I absolutely love it so much. And then I painted some stripes. But what I did was I cut out the hen and the swan. And I just coloured it in with a blue felt pen, just put it on some white background, but I quite like it. Um, let me know what you think in the comments below. I just thought it picked out the animals in the wallpaper. I don't know though. And obviously we had the blind originally, because we originally had planned to do this room light blue, but I preferred it in the bigger boys room. Um, but I kind of, I, I think the blue of the blinds goes with the blue of the wallpaper. But yeah, it's so nice. I love it. And obviously we still need <laughs> proper wardrobes in here. And Dan's put some bookshelves up there, which I've put some teddies on because it just gives it a bit of a different effect, doesn't it? And we've had this clock for ages and ages. But yes, we definitely need to get rid of this baby wardrobe and maybe get like a double wardrobe to go here. And then that way we won't have the rail and there'll be a bit of space along <laughs> Here, but yeah, we are getting there slowly but surely. It's actually been quite a busy and hectic weekend. Obviously, it's just me and Dan with the boys, and when we're trying to do stuff like this, it's just so hard. So it's like I did the painting, Dan watched the boys, and then Dan did the wallpaper, I watched the boys. So it's just kind of like tag teaming and just being a good team. <laughs> but we've done it, we've done it, and we've done it all in a weekend, and I'm really pleased that it's just more of a room now it wasn't a room before but it's definitely more of a room now more cozy fingers crossed it makes them sleep hey <laughs> Sleep. I'm just watching Britain's Got Talent because Dan hates it. We haven't really done, I say we haven't done too much, I feel like we've been so busy and just non-stop but we haven't gone anywhere. The boys have been okay though, they've been a little bit hard work. We've had a nice weekend overall um, but I think I'll probably end the vlog here because I'm going to sit down and watch Britain's Got Talent. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed it.